Okay, uh, here's where we left off. So right now, we've just got the side of the fish. We need to look at the fins. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click, select face. I'm just going to select um, just these. Shift select these. That's down a second. And what we can actually do with this is um, shift and the more than key. And that will just select um, or grow the selection. We can also do shift less than to take away from the selection or shrink the selection. So that's shift more than or shift less than. So I'm going to take these. I'm going to create UV and I'm going to create a planar mapping. And this time I'm going to create it from the Y axis. Object. Let's just go into our UV editor. See, this is what we've got. Um, I'll just scale this down just again to get roughly the right kind of aspect ratio. Okay. Um, and again, I'm just going to move this out of the way for now. So, okay, he's both the tops. Now, um, that's okay. We could get away with leaving it like that. But again, we're not getting any of the true projection underneath. We're not seeing these UVs. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to go in. Uh, let's just go into my selection tool queue. I'm going to select the bottom of these. I'm also going to select um, I'm just trying to think where it would be best to put a seam on this. I can connect those up. So let's do it on this one. And this one. I'm just thinking where we can hide seams and we can think, put things back together. And, um, what I'll get best out of this projection. So with those selected, it's going to go into our create UVs planar mapping. Should still be on the Y axis project. Um, again, let's just bring these down. And again, let's just move those out to one side. So we've now got the top, I'm just going to the UVs for this, top UVs and we've got the bottom UVs for these, okay? And again we could leave it at that, but what I want to do is start to work on these seams. And we've still got some overlap on some of these areas as well, down here. Um, switch that off. Let's just try something. So just with this top, what is the fish has left? Um, let's see. So we could go around and we could move all these points out. Where it's going underneath here. Again, you can always refer to the model. You, know, you should be expecting to see that out there. But there's sometimes a different way to do this. I'm just going to select these. I'm going to go to polygons and I'm just going to uh, click on this unfold. That does a pretty good job of actually getting these in the right kind of places now. So we can actually see this one's outside of it. Let's just select this. Do the same. I'm going to grab this one. Let's see what this has given us. Finally, I'm just going to grab this one and unfold. Go 
difference, just a slightly different option on this one. Um, just kind of a scale issue. And actually, I think this is the one that's too large, so I'm just going to scale this down. Okay. Um, so we need these to connect together again now. We can deal with these in a second. Uh, I'm just going to look at this set of edges here. So let's just go to edge mode. Um, so when I'm selecting edges on this, I don't know if you can see this, but what we're getting here, this selection here, we can also see this line down here as well, it's going the same color. So these two sections should actually be connected together. Um, you can see this is the wrong way around right now. So what I need to do with this is I'm just going to go into my UVs. I'm just going to flip this round. Let's move this up. Uh, and what we can do, um, again, just with these edges selected, let's go into my edge mode again. And this time you can see they're actually facing each other. So that's okay. Um, do we need to go to the end? No, not at the minute. Uh, so, uh, there's a tool for this. We can go into Polygon and we can go into Move and Sew UV Edges. And this moves the whole thing over. We just may need to go in with some UV tweaking on this. I'm just going to move this down a little bit. Okay, can do the same with the other one. So again, let's just go into edge mode to work out where this connecting. Um, that's actually the right way around. So, Oops. Um, sorry, let's just select this again. In fact, I'm going to select these. I'm going to go polygons, um, moving so edges. And again, just going to my UVs. This is just because of the scaling. Just need to fix this a little bit. Let's grab all of these. Uh, let's just move these out a little bit. I want something that's roughly matching the other side just to make it a bit easier when it comes to texturing, but that's pretty much okay. I can see on here um, these are disproportionate to the scale of the fish, getting a much larger checkerboard on the fish, which means it's smaller. So I'm just going to grab both of these and just scale these down. smaller. I'm just looking at the scale of the fin over here. Okay. So the last thing to do on this is the inside of the mouth. So I'll do that in the next tutorial. In fact, let's have a look at that now. Um, I'm going to go into the front uh, of this fish. Let's go into a polygon selection. And click on these and again use the shift more them. I'm not going to go to the end of that, just like this. Uh, and there's a couple of different ways we could approach this. I just go into create UVs. We could do a spherical mapping on this. Just project this out. Um, try to bring this out depending on. Bringing that axis round. Um, but what I'm actually going to do is just set uh, this is just a planar map again. Um, so create UVs, planar map. 
And I'm going to do it this time from the front projection, so from a, a Z axis. Okay. Uh, let's just scale this down again, something more approximate. And I'm just going to try a little quick fix on this. Um, if I just select these UVs, let's just try doing an unfold. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, let's just see what we've got on this. Uh, these are coming down. Actually, this is not a bad starting point. Uh, it's sometimes worth seeing. Uh, it can it can save you quite a bit of time. So what we need to do is just uh, again just looking at the original polygons here. Just looking at them as if uh, they were flattened out. Just this one in. Uh, we're not really going to add too much detail into the inside of the mouth. It's just there. Uh, more as an example that you can do this. Okay. So uh, let's just look at this in poly. Um, you can see these bits here. There, the back of the mouth, and then so we could approximate that shape better. But uh, let's just go into this. You can see back out to the mouth. So we'll actually just kind of get the shape that those those are a little more. Okay. So, we've got all our different parts, we need to put these into this area down here. This is our UV area. Um, I want to keep these kind of together. Um, and let's just see what we can get. So I'm just going to grab all of these UVs and just bring them down. I'm going to go into my scale tool and just scale all these uniformly down. Uh, just go to my move tool and I want this so there's no overlaps over the border uh, I could bring this a little bit closer um, because we don't really need all that texture space it's fine uh, if we wanted these to be more high detail we could actually have these take up more texture space similar to the mouth uh, what we don't really want to do is change the aspect ratio of any of these that will uh, cause problems with the tiling of the textures on the fish itself Okay, uh, and that's the UV done for the fish